Hello children, today I will tell you how to use Google Docs. Now, if you don't have MS Word on your laptop or it is difficult for you to work on a laptop or a PC, Google Docs is what you should use to work like you are working in MS Word. How will you do it? We have to go to the Play Store on your mobile. So let's open Play Store first. And you have to install an app called Google Docs. So this is the screen where I have typed Google Docs and it is coming here. I'll click on install and Google Docs will start downloading on my Android phone and I can use it just like I use MS Word. So let's wait till it downloads. So it is installing now on my phone. Okay, now I press open to open the Google Docs. Now, it is this is how the Google Doc opens. I want to open a new file where I want to type. So at the bottom if you can see there is a plus sign and I click on this plus sign and new document opens for me. It looks just like a word document and here I can type whatever I want to work on. Suppose like I told you, you have to make a poster on input output devices. Let's type input device. So input devices. Now if I want to make it big, make the font size big. So I click here, this is the option where you on top you see there is an A with some lines. So this option when you click at the bottom, it opens the other sub options. So here I can choose the font which I want. So whatever you like you can choose. Suppose we take this one. We have to select this first. So click long press and then select like this. Then you can make the text. Increase the size or decrease as you want and choose the font which you would like it to have. Click on any font. Let's take impact and it becomes like this. Now, if you want a color for this, go here, choose the color and it changes the color. So, all these things you can do now. Again, I click on this A on top to remove this option. Now, I press enter key on my mobile. Here, I would like to put a picture. So, to insert a picture, we go to the plus sign which is on top of your screen. Click on the plus sign. At the bottom, it asks you what do you want to insert. I want to insert an image and from the web from the internet I want to take. Now here I want to type say I need a keyboard. So I type keyboard and I press enter. So it shows me all the keyboard pictures. So whichever you think you look uh, you like it you just take that photo. Click on insert and it will be inserted. Now click on the picture and uh, Okay, now we want to write something about it. Now this I want to write keyboard. Now double press, long press it and select it like this. Go to the fonts. Here. And then you can change the size, re reduce the size or make it some other color. All that I told you earlier also, this is how you can make it, okay. Press enter, come to the next picture you want to insert, go again to plus, go to the image option and click on uh, from the net. So now I want probably a mouse. So type mouse here and press enter. It will give you all the <laughs> mouse pictures. You should write mouse computer. Maybe it, then it will show you all the nice pictures. So choose any that you think you like. Click on insert and the mouse will be inserted. 
ok. Now, you have to type. So, mouse you can type, change the color, select it all, go to So, you have to practice a lot, only then you can children uh, work in it. You will have to try how it works nicely. Then you can put a picture that is up to you. So, this is how we work in Google Docs. And uh, how do we save it now? Here you see there is a tick sign, click on the tick, it will show you all changes saved and the file name is untitled document. You click there, write whatever is the name of your file, input devices maybe, input devices and then you can write your name along with that and press OK. So, it saves the file. Now, if you want to send it in mail to someone, click on this and here you have to click on the you have to type the email address. So, Raji Rajesh at mountcameldelhi.com and this is at the bottom of the screen if you see there is an arrow which is the send button, click on the send button and it will be shared with that person whose email you have typed here. So, this is how we work in Google Docs, do try it.